over 3,000 years of history, friendly faces, and lots of music. I'm here in Athens, Greece. The Greek capital is like a second home to me, and I'm going to show you what we can do here in just one day. We're going to check out a mix of the classic sites and some you probably have never heard about before. So, as the Greeks say, Pame, let's go. Before we dive into the hustle and bustle of the city, I want to show you one of my favorite spots, Philopapu Hill, a giant and pretty rugged park right in the center. I don't think I wore the right shoes for this terrain. <laughs> Walking around the park, you'll also find more amazing views of the Acropolis from different angles. And from this side, you can even see the Aegean Sea. I'm dreaming of summer already. I don't know about you. So let's get to know Athens, one of the oldest cities in the world. So now we head down to Monastiraki Square, the heart of Athens. And in this place, you can see layers of the city's history in just one spot. First, we have the Church of the Virgin Mary Patanissa from the Byzantine era right there. And then over here, we have the Tsitsarakis Mosque from the Ottoman era. And this neoclassical building right here houses the metro station, which is a very good way to get around the city. But I prefer to take a walk now. In the historic neighborhood of Plaka, which is known for its colorful buildings and perfect location at the foot of the Acropolis. One of the advantages of being here in the off season, which is roughly November to March, is that you won't have all of the high season crowds. So you can enjoy this neighborhood without a lot of tourists around. And that means you'll be able to find a seat at one of the many cute cafes and restaurants. And maybe even make a new friend. <laughs> or not. Greeks are usually so welcoming. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Nearby, you'll find several of the city's main archaeological sites. I never get tired of looking at them. I have like 500 photos of the same thing. <laughs> That's Hadrian's Library, built in 132 AD, and the Roman Agora from the first century BC. If you plan to enter several archaeological sites, including the Acropolis, I recommend you buy the multi-pass ticket. That's 30 euros, and it gets you into seven archaeological sites over a period of five days. So it's really worth it. If you buy the pass down in Plaka, you can skip the sometimes long line up here at the Acropolis. While you explore the city, you might be wondering what souvenirs to take home. I have to admit, I find these crowns very fun. I mean, who doesn't want to feel like a Greek goddess? But I'm going to show you where we can find some authentic Greek souvenirs. And have a real Athenian experience. In the vibrant neighborhood of Kipseli, I meet up with my friend, Athens expert, Zacharoula. She takes me to her local farmer's market. Every neighborhood in Athens has at least one a week, and many of the products are fresh and locally grown. <laughs> I promised our viewers some authentic Greek souvenirs. What do you suggest? Olives, of course. Of course. Easy to of travel course. with. Uh, if you want to spice things up. Ooh, <laughs> I like that. Uh, you can have all this collection of spices, oh, okay. like uh, oregano, thyme, rosemary, Pistachios. fisticky aginis. Fisticky aginis. Where are they from? From Aegina. From Aegina. Aegina is an island very close to Athens, and by Safida the way. And Safida as well is very local. Oh, It's Safida. the dried... Um, raisins. Raisins, huh? Ooh, that's really good. And these are Safida Corinthu. They make you care in a fire of those. Want to try? Have some. <laughs> I hear somebody or some group of people. Yes. You too? Yes. Let's, let's check it out. Okay, so this is Sugar Guru. They play all over the streets. 
streets of Athens, traditional music from all over Greece. That was amazing with the balconies. People were dropping money from the balcony. <laughs> they throw it like that, as you see. <laughs> Not to hit some head. I can never get enough of Greek music, but now one of my ultimate Athens recommendations, the Acropolis Museum. If you plan to visit one museum while you're in Athens, this is it. Inside, you'll find over 3,000 items taken from the ancient site of the Acropolis. The Parthenon is just one of many temples that stood on the ancient citadel. The museum displays finds from the entire site, from ancient pottery to the majestic caryatids of the Erechtheon temple. And did you know that ancient statues were once brightly colored? On some, you can still see traces of the original hues. And if you still want to see more, you can go under the museum to check out an ancient Athenian neighborhood. The entire museum was built right on top of it. And by the way, I don't recommend wearing a skirt or dress when you visit the museum because... The Acropolis. You can still see some parts of the archeological site without buying a ticket, like the Odeon of Herodas Atticus an ancient theater at the southwest slope. But the Acropolis is the main touristic site for a reason, so definitely pay it a visit. My tip is to get there as early as possible after it opens so you can be one of the few people there. It's not only about ancient stuff here. Athens is a cosmopolitan city with tons of cool bars, restaurants, and generally whatever kind of nightlife you're into. I'm into music, so tonight I'm going to take you to hear some of my favorite musicians. <laughs> first things first, we ordered Sipporo, a popular distilled spirit, the Greek version of grappa. That's strong, that's strong. <laughs> and a public service announcement. Sipporo, be careful. <laughs> it's not to be drunk on an empty stomach. We order a few plates to share like saganaki fried cheese, zucchini balls, fava, and one of my favorites, tacos, Cretan rusk salad. So this is something very Greek. Coming, getting these shared plates, mazeves, being with your friends, drinking, and of course, listening to music. We're lucky to catch the Skutas Mitarakis duo at Skordopisti. So tonight we have bazooki and guitar, two instruments that are classic rebetiko instruments, and that's a genre that was born in the ports of Greece in the early 20th century. And still today, it's very popular with young and old. this day in Athens as much as I did. Yamas. Yamas. Yamas.